Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am going to attempt something I have never attempted before, which is to give me... Which is to use bottles that aren't open. Oh, I guess that's happened several times. Um, anyway. I'm just going to work with what I've got. I'm going to start with a uh, sky. And that's some... That's some enamels. <laughs> and I'm going to use a spatula. And I'm going to see how this is going to go. And um, then I'm going to take my blooming technique paints. I'm going to just let that shuffle right over the top. That's not Prussian blue, which is kind of what I was thinking it was, but it's not. Um, doesn't mean I can't put some in in a minute. I'm going to go right over the over the top edge and right over the side. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to grab that blue. And I've been making such a mess, I guess I'm still making a mess. I'm going to take that paint right off there. Put it right back on my canvas again. And then use the residuals to go right over the edge. And they did! Yay! So I'm, I really don't want to waste that blue, but it doesn't belong in the rest of this in my opinion. So I'm going to put it on the edge and use it for something that's going to fall over. And I'm going to use whatever else I've got over the edges. Not worry about any little stray marks. Kind of wanted something down in the middle there. As long as the paint will cover it, we're all set. So far, so good. Don't want to waste any of that, but got to do what you got to do. All right, so this next part is going to be pretty strange. And I could, I'm thinking about using a spatula, but I've got a selection of acetate cards. <laughs> Clean, aren't they? Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a pillow paint of white. And I think I'm going to spread some of that down here. Because what I want to do is swipe, swipe my landscape down. So after, after I put some of this covering the entire bottom half of this canvas, including tapping off a little bit on the edge, and pushing some right up there. It doesn't need to be as much in my opinion, but my opinion is not valid because I'm so inexperienced at doing this. And I'm not sure why I chose the white, because what I'd really like is the black, but I'm going to use the black cell activator, which is just three quarters Floetrol and a quarter color. Uh, in this case, I'm going to assume that the color is um, Artist Loft black, but it could be any black. <laughs> I don't think it mattered to me when I made it, and it's working, so... That might be good to know. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off on my sponge, which is coming in pretty handy right now with this house paint. And then I'm gonna put my other paints away because they're not the right consistency. The recipe for these paints are, um, I start with a little polycrylic or poly anything and I mix the color art, the primary elements color art and some other things into them. I need to grab my greens and I made up several of them and I think I'm going to put the greens and the blue and the gold all together. And that sounds kind of boring to me, but the truth is that once I put the black on there, it ought to be okay. I washed my spoons, but I didn't dry them. So I'm going to take a second and make sure that they are dry.
and then I'm going to put them on something, cover them up. Now I'm going to try and do the less is more thing this time, <laughs> but I'm really not any better at it with the color art than anything else. I think. This is a learning experience for me right here, right now. I kind of want some, th some of everything in there. And my, my stuff is getting a little thick. And I'm not sure how this is going to go, so I'm nervous. What can I say? So, so far, so far so good, but we don't know that. Ah, yes. We will definitely be swiping, which does seem to work a lot better for me. There's my cell activator. I am just going to put all the way along the top. I'm going to wish I had some purple. You know what? If I got any of this left at all, I'm going to use it. And I really don't have much. I should have made some more up. Because it's the closest I'm going to come to purple for a while. I don't think it can hurt anything. <laughs> Those little drops probably will never even show up. But we don't know that. I may put some cell activator down further also, depending on how this goes right now. Wipe off my spatula. Maybe I'll start with um, a swipe tool. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I want a different swipe tool. I want to pull it all down. All right, I'm, I'm just going to do it. And flip it over. I want that round portion. And then knock it off around the edge. Maybe wherever I get those strange marks I will go ahead and put in some more cell activator. Like so. I may even want another card. Without stuff on the edge, please. Looks more like a big wave with a black top than it does land. I don't want part that I've used already because once you've got that white paint on there, it kind of makes things interesting and you need to get it off. Got all kinds of edge catchers hanging around here. I'm probably going to want to rinse away. Yeah, I definitely think this lends itself to the potentially to a wave. I'm going to find my find and scrape off my edge catcher on my little excess catcher. Flip my card over. Throw that card in the bucket. <laughs> Wipe off your other card. Got just enough of that pink so that it's all right. That definitely looks like some kind of crazy, crazy water scene. The big black wave. That's okay. I have some cells and I like them. And now if I want to, I 
after I take some of these painty things, I can see what happens if I tip. Which is actually kind of cool. This is working. <laughs> That's awesome. I got a couple places I wouldn't mind shifting some paint onto. Like the bottom. And I'm thinking if I rest that edge catcher just perfectly. And let all of that paint fall right off onto it. I ought to be able to dip my edge in there. Even to the point of the edge that's not shedding any paint. That's pretty cool. And my edge is 90% covered. And it has a pattern on it too. Check it out. Let's see if I can tip that up to you. Can you see that? I don't know what that's supposed to be at the bottom, but for me it's a wave. <laughs> at least this time. I'm going to have to make some blue, blue cell activator. I'm going to share that to you guys. Tell you please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you watch the videos longer you will be able to help me stay at YouTube because that is the only thing that the YouTube algorithm knows. I'm going to go ahead and use any paint that I've got to spare over on the edge. Blow it into submission. That sounded just wrong. Good thing there's no kids in the audience. I want to put a sun in that sky, but I really don't right now. I'm just going to be happy with what I've got and, and count it as a, uh, a good happening. You know what? I've got some more, some more edge to cover over here, and I'm going to take my paint, which you can see, and I will save this for tomorrow if I don't I can't use it now. In any case, I'm going to grab a number five Princeton Artel Catalyst Spatula and that blue paint right there. I'm going to use it and catch it and lead it along. And I believe, yes, it is. It's covering perfectly. And it's leaving little stripes behind, so it looks like it's completely integrated. I feel like I am a clever girl. <laughs> And this paint is all still very viable, and that's all pillow paint with other stuff mixed into it. But I believe I will be able to use it. So let me have one more look at this. And I'm going to design some, some swipe cards so that I can make shapes I want. And I'm going to stick my finger in a couple places. Finish that one little spot on the bottom that's not covered. And... Uh, Say this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me. Well, morale is in question occasionally, and uh, thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to be in the monthly drawing, it's a ten dollar minimum, and you can find the place to enter the drawing on the on, excuse me. You can find PayPal and Patreon underneath my channel on my channel header icons, confusion reigns, and uh, underneath my video. You can find on the end screens, I was saying, the exhibition video that will show you what the prizes are for the third week in February. Also under the video you will find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links, as well as the clothing that you see is from the, my designs, and that is Teespring. If you're looking for a Facebook group to join, is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is for people looking to see what I've been doing since 2013 and by hitting the shop now button I'm just leaving that black right over the side. You can uh, you can go there on uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, I think I said that. And uh, Expressionist Art Studio, oh yeah, <laughs> Fancy Collectors is for, obviously, for fans and collectors. I'm going to put a little more of this color right here. Because I like it, but I saw too much canvas, and I'm at a perfect stage where I can get away with what I'm doing. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here. Be sure to let me know on the poll if you uh, would rather have 8.30 midnight or 1.45 in the afternoon for my post times if I'm, if I'm unable to post three videos a day, which would seem right that I couldn't do that. That's not coming out. I want to cover that. <laughs> Where's that color? I don't have it. It moved. I love you guys. I can't keep saying that. All right. So I don't think I missed anything else. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to watch the video longer. And uh, if you're not getting notifications and you want them to come back and they don't leave me a comment, that usually helps. It helped my husband. I will see you guys anon. I think I said this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, but I'm highly distracted because this is really cool and I like it and I'll be doing more of this, I promise you. Because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link. The first one, the second one, is called Unlimited Possibilities and you can find the OXO Omelette Turning Spatulas there and the Princeton Art to Catalyst Spatulas. Everything's on list number one and it's, uh, there's another list there too. You can check it out. I won't stop you. Mm. All right. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Check my pl my created playlist for a thousand videos, all separated into genres or by the hundreds. And um, what else? Community board. Tomorrow's video. And Facebook. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. You can usually find what's coming up tomorrow there. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.